Hello everyone, this is Claudia from bubblesbar.com and I'm here with another beautiful card uh, with some nice flowers from spring theme and uh, it's a window card so sit back and relax I know that nowadays the uh, ombre effect is very popular so I went ahead and cheated a bit I used this uh, desert um, collection pack that we have uh, digital designs and they have these beautiful um, hills with different colors and it kind of uh, makes an ombre effect so what I did is I printed them all on a piece of A4 paper and I cut like a frame with a label die and uh, with my scissors so that will be my the base of my card and I have already cut uh, almost all of the elements of this card and the base card will be a standard A4 or A2, sorry, <laughs> standard A2. And now for the background of my uh, frame here, I'm going to use this gray paper. This is from some of the um, Team Holtz uh, papers. Um, and I'm just marking where I need to cut based on the frame. I'm just going to cut it like one or two millimeters smaller. And uh, as you can see on my desk, I also have a piece of acetate that is uh, going to be on the on the back of of the frame. And so the frame will look something like this, only only that it will be put up. So now I have to score my card, and and I scored it on ten and a half centimeters. And the other part is 14 and 3 quarters or so, something like that. And my base card is black, I know, I, I like black lately. Um, to give it a pop of color, I'm using this nice coral, uh, just a simple cardstock. And I'm punching it to the Fisker's uh, border punch, the, um, the lace bo border punch. And I'm going to cut a very thin strip of this. And it will just peek out of the card. I'm going to adhere it down, trying to center it here. And I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Mold Eye Glue to put a very thin strip of glue. As you can see here, I did a little mistake. I put too much glue on. It's okay with this glue because it dries out clear so you can just uh, take it out with your fingers and then uh, put the correct amount down so it's not gonna have any negative effect. So I'm centering my uh, scallop edge there and then I will cut the ends that are picking out for this card. And there we have that with the base card. Now I have to adhere first the acetate because this one always takes a little longer to dry out, so the glue. And it's it's good to have it prepared in the beginning when you do this kind of cards and then let it dry out for a few minutes while you do the rest of the elements on the card. So what I'm doing is I'm putting again the liquid glue and I try not to move it too much because I don't want the glue to show on the outside. Uh, what I notice with this acetate is that this, this glue doesn't really uh, dry out uh, like transparent. It does dry out uh, kind of clear but on an acetate it really shows uh, not so nice. Uh, I'm going to emboss that piece of paper with this nice flower embossing polar that I got the, the clearance somewhere and because my cattle bug is a bit out of balance I need to always put a piece of cardboard there on my uh, sandwich so this really looks nice and sometimes I have difficulty deciding which one is the best uh, part of the card to use and I was looking for a sanding block, but I couldn't find one. So I decided to cheat a little bit and use uh, this color box frost white ink. And then with your finger, you can, after you smear it a bit, 
you can use your finger to make it uniform and then that will make the embossed flowers a little bit pop out if I would have had a sanding block then the craft core of the paper would have shown um, through it but uh, you can always do this trick so I'm putting uh, glue on the back this is quite a very strong glue and you should use a strong glue when you're using embossed parts because otherwise uh, it will just peel off I'm trying to center this piece there making sure that um, the scallop edge is peeking out on the on the sides and now what I did is I cut out uh, I printed these flowers on different sizes on an A4 paper these are just some uh, clip parts I have um, and the nice part about clip parts is that you can print them on different sizes and different colors you can decide what you want to print so I'm deciding which flowers will be on the inside and I have some leaves also that I cut and you know as always when I cut something or even when I cut it with my silhouette there's gonna be a small white border around it so I like to you know hide that border and you can either do that with a black marker or as I do it I distress the edges just the edges with my uh, peeled paint uh, distressing and that makes it uh, that, that white border disappears so I need to make sure that the flowers are visible through the window so I uh, test it out there that my flower is visible so I won't put it only in the corner I'll put it a bit off and I'm trying to play around to see how I want to adhere all the flowers and after I made my decision I will just go ahead and put some more liquid glow in the middle of the flowers I'm not gonna adhere everything like the petals and everything because I, I might need to put the the leaves underneath the petals so and anyway this is quite a strong glue so you don't have to put it exactly on every part of the of the element you can see that I have a really big pile of flowers and honestly I just cut them out uh, at once I mean sometimes when you're bored and you're in front of the TV you just pick up your scissors and, and just print uh, one page of these clip arts and just cut them out they're easy to cut and uh, it's even easier if you have a silhouette cutting machine but it's not necessary uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pop dots and the trick with pop dots and and when you put another uh, element on top is to align the pop dots to be half on the card and half on the acetate and make sure that the acetate really doesn't move uh, from from the place that's another trick uh, I learned while playing with the acetate and um, after I'm going to peel off the backing of these uh, foam dots I'm going to align this window and I'm gonna put it exactly on top and now my flowers are inside this uh, this window behind the acetate which looks really nice and I'm gonna adhere some other parts on top of it so um, that will give it a nice effect uh, these flowers and, and the leaves are uh, from an, an upcoming um, clip up collection that we're going to have about bubblespar.com and I'm just showing you a sneak preview because I always like to test my clip arts before we put them live and um, I must say they're really nice to work with and it's really nice to just choose your own colors and fill them in and uh, do whatever with them the trick when you are adhering something to an acetate is once you place down the uh, part with the glue do not move it around because then the, the glue will not dry out very clear and then 
your uh, card will look a bit dirty. So once you do it down, just live with it and just leave it there. I really love this uh, branch. And now I have to, I want to put some three more flowers up there and I'll just choose from the smaller ones. And I'll put them in a the corner. And you can see from the desert, uh, desert collection, um, how nice the ombre effect with the green is done. Even though the original pattern is totally different, um, the effect is still the same. So you can always cheat a bit, right? I mean, you don't have to make it complicated and and do layers of paint and distress just to have a nice effect. You can just um, look for a pattern that you have. Uh, at home that has a gradient right that that maybe has some elements that go from lighter to to darker color and then just use that i mean it looks the same nice and pretty so why not it saves you some time and now i i still have some of the butterflies that i cut like a month ago uh, for some other projects i have lots of them left over and also some of the ladybugs so I thought, why not use them on a card? Um, I think I use them now on every card because I I want uh, to finish them so I can print some different colors. But I think the first time I printed too many. And you'll be amazed on an A4 paper how many of these butterflies are. Because they're so tiny, um, you're going to be printing around 20 of the same color in a row uh, or something so you're gonna have a lot of butterflies and ladybugs just from one sheet of paper that is the nice part about digital designs that you never run out of material because you can always print more and cut more now for the sentiment i'm using these tilted banners from simon's stamp and i'm gonna uh, stamp with memento black ink this 100 uh, percent fantastic sentiment because yeah, I was feeling 100% fantastic and there's flowers everywhere and it's spring and it's warm, no longer uh, cold and ugly. So yeah, I'm happy. I hope you guys are also. <laughs> and I'm going to adhere this tilted banner there on the corner. And I'm just going to use some of my uh, roller glue to adhere it down. I don't want to pop it up anymore because already the window is popped. And I think that finished up the card. Uh, please check the links uh, below on the description of this video because it has a link to our blog post with, uh, with all the materials used. And please subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.